Hello, everyone, and welcome to my freak show. Weekly Wednesday live stream. Oh, no, Cooks, don't you dare. Oh, my God. Cooks says hello. So, guys, welcome to my freak show, A.E. Just Delicate, Episode 7, Ave Hestia, is tonight on FX. Okay, Cooks, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Okay, you go on. Cooks, go lay down. I forgot to put up the barrier. But he broke it last time, so. All right, guys. Now, before we actually start this live stream, I want to ask you guys, if it's all right with you, to whichever uh, deity that you pray to, if you could please pray for the soul of my brother-in-law, Reed Moody, who sadly passed away yesterday, and my he was just a really good guy, um, a really good guy. He had great kids, um, great life, and he's going to be very missed. And it was very much sudden. A lot of people are left behind very sad. And if you could just please pray for him, I would be very grateful. So thank you all very much. Okay, so on this stream, we're going to talk about episode six. We're going to talk about predictions for episode seven. And then, of course, we're going to speculate the hell out of this season. And needless to say, spoiler warning. And I have to give a huge special shout out to channel member Blaze and patron Cody Allen. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what the episode was about last week very quickly. If you guys don't uh, remember, uh, of course, spoilers. Uh, Anna was born to her mother, Margaret, who was from Freak Show. Oh my gosh, you guys pointed that out to me. And I looked at her and I thought, my God, she's so, I recognize, where is she from? And I meant to look her up after, but you guys let me know. So thank you. But her mother's name was Margaret and she loved her baby. And her father was kind of like Dex. And he sadly let his wife suffer until she died in a hospital. The favorite song that the mom loved to, or that Margaret loved to sing to little Anna was Rockabye Baby. And after Anna's mom, Margaret, has passed away in the hospital, Nicolette is walking down the hall and holds Anna while the dad is kind of losing his mind from losing his wife. So that is Anna's opening. Now we move into Anna being the main speaker at Babette's funeral. She's not so sad, though, because she's nominated for a SAG award. And when she returns from the hospital, a black cat leads Anna outside to a mangled summer day doll. Like, its legs are all broken and twisted up. And the cat, like, goes, oh, my God, it was so funny. It's like the cat punched the crap out of Anna instead of just giving her a scratch across the cheek. I mean, this chick went down like Apollo Creed at the end of Rocky II. I could not believe how Anna was taken out like that so easily. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm a little creepy. We found out that Dr. Hill is not Dex's father, but he is a really true jerk. He's dating some young woman named Madison who might be Dex's aunt. I don't know. That That's so weird. But Dex tells his dad, hey, mom's like going to testify against you. You better make sure you are ready. So Nicola... And the next scene comes in to wake up Anna and because she let her know, hey, I found this naked little summer day doll at my house. And that's whenever the cat comes in and Nicolette says that, oh, it's a cat that's a stray around the house. She's named him Felix. And this red dot on Anna's on Nicolette's lower left side of her mouth is red, just like Anna has. So after Nicolette leaves, Anna takes the doll to the basement and where she's put all of her little collections of the dolls and discovers that the dolls were found in locations that show up to be the devil symbol. So Nicolette sets up the pool for Anna. She's totally creepy. While in the pool, the baby's claws come up out of Anna's stomach. Goats show up like it's a big old Satan party. And Anna goes in to tell Dex, but ends up apologizing to him about her recent behavior. He does the same. And when he leaves, she has these little four little wounds on her stomach where the baby's claws little came out. So that was awesome. Um, Kamal says that Talia insisted not to be cameras in the basement. So whenever she confronts Talia at the uh, art opening, she confronts her about, hey, why did you never put cameras in the basement? Um, it was actually pretty cool because she confronts her about spying on her way back to the apartment. Like when Anna was even trying to get pregnant, 
but Talia denies it and she just, ugh, she verbally smacks Anna. It was awesome. Um, but Talia does let it slip that she was the one who told Dex to go for Anna. And then she tells her, hey, I know you're lying about everything. And um, Hamish, Hamish also tells Siobhan that Siobhan, that he's going to the press to tell them the truth that he didn't write the auteur, <coughs> which we all know he's going to be next. Um, when Anna goes to the bathroom, that super fan actually shows up and Anna accidentally kills her again. And the woman comes alive. And so anyway, Anna leaves the bathroom. Nurse Ivy is there to pretend that she's just a fan. So it's all driving Anna crazy. Sonia comes up and she's telling Anna, you're so distressed. She kisses her red hands. She kisses the wounds from the scratch bite and the pimple. And it all disappears. And that's when Nicolette, Sonia, Ivy, and Talia, they're in front of Anna. And they're wearing green spiked heels. And then they surround her and they're all chanting for their main man, Satan. And this is when like all of the women, it's almost like it's a identity. Or it's, it's some, either it's makeup or it's some kind of magic. But this is when they come to Anna and she sees that they all have the same red mark on the lower left side of their mouths. Sonia kisses Anna and she places her arm on her back, just like the mark on the summer day doll, the naked one that Nicolette brought her. But that's when Siobhan brings her back to reality. They take She takes her out to get something to eat. That's when we get the whole bone scene and Siobhan kind of turns into Fred mode. That's when they see that Siobhan, or sorry, that Hamish has died and Siobhan is like, meh. This guy ended his own future. No big deal. She's like checking her makeup and she touches that part of her mouth, making sure her makeup is right. But I wonder if she was just like making sure that the magic was up or her makeup was still covering it anyway. But while Siobhan gets a drink Anna looks at that card, finally, that tells her not to trust anyone. There's a number on the back of it. She calls it. She hears the other phone, the person who she's calling ring in the restaurant. So she traces it. It's Miss Preacher. And Miss Preacher tells Anna that they need to talk, but not with Siobhan around. And the episode ends with Dex finding his mother dead in the bathtub. She had ended her own future. And someone wrote on the mirror, I tried to warn you with red lipstick. So that is episode six. That was really good. <laughs> I have to say that was a really great episode. I know my review is not up yet. I do apologize. I've just had some unforeseen health circumstances with my daughter and, like I said, a sudden passing away in the family. So I, I do promise you, though, Beyond the Heart is tomorrow. My review for episode six and seven will absolutely be up. I'm going to be catching up this weekend. So I promise you guys that will absolutely be up. So that was episode six. If you want me to know your thoughts on that, put them in the comments right now because I'm going to take some comments and then let's move into the predictions for episode seven, which. Ave Hestia looks really good. I have looked at that trailer, uh, that teaser trailer for episode seven many times. It it's it's confusing, yet it gives a lot of information. So let's talk about the actual episode six real quick. I know we did most of that on Beyond the Horror. Um, again, guys, Beyond the Horror, if you are not if you are new to the channel, Beyond the Horror is my unofficial AHS after show where I usually do it after the episode airs, but just due to my live streaming services, I can only watch it the next day. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I can do Beyond the Horror the next day. So it will be tomorrow, tomorrow night at seven. Okay. And um, don't forget to like the stream if you're enjoying it. Please subscribe if you would like more stuff. You can hit the notification bell. If you want to take it another step further, you can become a Patreon or a channel member. Links are in the description and there is free Patreon levels. So you could actually come join those as well. So, all right, let's take some comments and let's move into episode seven, the predictions. And let's take your theories on what's going to happen on episode seven. Um, Mystique. Oh, Mystique is so nice to have you here. Thank you very much. And I apologize that I'm enunciating your name wrong. So, but thank you so much for being here. OMG, go to watch the first five minutes of Axemen Cometh from Coven and watch the same actress who was a witch back then play Anna's mother. I had a witch theory about her ever since. You can see the mother holding a baby in the lower right corner of the blood and you can hear Anna's mom singing Rockabye Baby. Okay. Um, why did you do this to me? 
I mean, it's a good thing. Don't worry. I had all my theories done. I didn't have a new one. I had to tell, tell myself I have to step away from theories. It's it's an addiction. And now you've pulled me in. You've pulled me in. Wow. I will go look at that. Tell you what. I will do that tonight. Okay. And if I see what you're seeing and that it, they do connect, I will 100% do a theory video on that because I never noticed it. And I will absolutely give you credit for the actual theory. Why would you do that to me? Why would you get my theory brain spinning like that when I had it settled on quiet? Blaze, it is so great to see you. I know they came out with the new trailer for Maxine. I tried to watch it last night. I didn't get to, and I meant to do it today, but you know, I've been with my, my mother-in-law. So, um, cookie. Yes. Thank you, Matt, so much for being so sweet and saying hello to my little sweetness. Yeah. Thank you so much guys for your love. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Kristen. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, so blaze is speculating that this might be episode seven is going to be a back, uh, story episode. Yes, me too. Thank you so much, Jordan. Thank you. White bear productions. I really appreciate that. Um, Buffy Villa saying, did you see Gaga in the new trailer? Are you talking about for Joker two? Because if that's the one you're talking about, I have not had a chance to see that yet. Um, I need to, because I know, I know I really wanted to see Maxine. So I will absolutely look out for that. Thank you. Thank you so much, my sweetness, for being a great moderator. Um, Buffyville, yes, the Joker. Okay. Debbie! Debbie! Thank you so much for being here. All right. Joel, or Joe River says, why does no one notice that Anna looks a mess? Zit, cat scratch, LOL. Right, Joe? And she had like a bruise going down her face too from where the cat scratched her. Like I said, it looked like that cat literally Watched her. <laughs> it's hilarious. So <laughs> that that episode still makes me laugh. She went down big time. Maxine looks a lot like a season of AHS. Ooh, really? All right. I'll check that out. Can I do a live reaction to the Maxine trailer? You know what, Blaze, since you want it and you're a channel member, yes. So there are two things that I need from this video. Blaze is awesome, wonderful reaction. And then, of course, the theory that is now a bit in my head turning. And I keep wondering what Apocalypse is doing up there. Why isn't it already in my DVD player? <laughs> Alan, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. White Bear says, talking about Maxine, I'm surprised to see the set of Psycho here. Here? Or like in the trailer? What am I missing? Oh, oh, I misunderstood. All right, White Bear, you could let me know in the comments. Okay, guys, so let's talk about the predictions for episode seven. Okay, in the beginning of the teaser, it looks that Addie tells everybody, you know, who are you? What do you want from me? But if that was her coven that she left, she would have recognized them. Why doesn't she recognize them? They obviously must be in some kind of different form. So, I mean... Then again, she would also recognize the little, you know, the outfits. You would think she would. So is Addie also under some kind of spell? So that way she doesn't remember her past, so she doesn't talk about it. I mean, that wouldn't make sense. She keeps her name and everything. So absolutely. that's I'm really looking forward to this backstory and why she's so confused as to why everybody, as to who everybody is. I mean, if she was part of this coven, and she left them to be with Dex, she would know who they are. She would know who Nicolette is, but she's sitting there also in the trailer and Nicolette's telling her, you know, your family misses you. And uh, I am so sorry, my hair feels a little greasy. I was supposed to wash it today and I didn't and it looks horrible. So that's why I'm messing with it. I apologize. And, she, you know, she doesn't recognize Nicolette and I'm just wondering and then, of course, when they have her on, like, I guess a table or something, and they've got her head together, she says, why are you doing this to me? So is she under some kind of the same thing, like an amnesiac spell where she doesn't remember 
that she left her coven or something. I, I, I don't understand. So, um, oh, he's talking about in the Maxine trailer. Okay. I will look at that. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I just wonder what that is about, but it does absolutely appear that this episode is going to be nothing but backstory. And I'm down for that. If we don't get the talk with Anna and Ms. Preacher or any of that kind of stuff, I'm going to be okay with, because I want to know these back details that the show has been hiding from us and how they all correlate. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> This is going to be a great episode tonight. And it starts at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that's one hour and 45 minutes from now for those of you who are actually in that time um, and who can watch it. Sadly for me with my streaming service, I am not actually allowed to watch it until tonight at 2 a.m. And I'm not going to lie. Last week, it was fun to get up on Thursday morning. I got up at like 5 a.m. I made breakfast. Um... And I got to watch AHS at least twice, twice. I got to watch the episode twice by myself in the, you know, um, nobody bothering me. And I, I even got, I got so much done with that day. Sadly though, because I, I guess I have a copyright strike or something, uh, copyright reasons. I can't screen record. So I have a black screen. So I didn't know how I would do my review without actual pictures. And yeah. And then it, everything just went haywire. So you guys are all so sweet for your patience. But again, I am so looking forward to this episode because it really does seem like it's all backstory. And um, again, I'm really excited to know why uh, Addie does not recognize her coven. Like I said, did they did they change who, their, their, their faces or something? It doesn't seem like to me that any of them have changed age-wise in any way, shape, or form over the years that we've gotten. So it's it's almost like, okay, there's something else going on here, and I'm really excited for the show to show us. <laughs> so let me go ahead and take some comments. I'm Amodi. Hey, it's so great to have you back. Thank you so much for being here. Guys, don't forget, if you are enjoying the stream, please like it. If you want to go another step further and subscribe and click the bell notification button, I'd be very grateful. And if you want to take it another step further and become a channel member or a Patreon, levels start at just a dollar. You get a bunch of rewards. Links are in the description. And there is also free tiers on Patreon. So I love you too, Blaze. You're awesome. Adam says, late to the chat, but what if Anna is indeed under a spell and forgot she had a twin sister, which is Madison from the coven? They did say at the end of Apocalypse, Billy Lord will bring her back. That's right. That's right. They wanted her to just... Um, Billy Lord just said that she wanted her to stay in hell for a little while. She could just, you know, she could stay there for a little while. There wasn't a rush to bring her back. But I'm sure they did. Wow. But I definitely think Anna is under some kind of amnesia, amnesiac identity spell. 100% and has forgotten a lot of things. Absolutely. I think I would love that. That she would have a twin sister, which is Madison from Coven. Because, I mean, wouldn't the times match up? Then again, Okay, so this is 2023 and Anna is 36. And I know Apocalypse was 20, wait, 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 Apocalypse was 2019. Yeah, because COVID, okay, so Apocalypse, I guess, yeah, it was 2018, but I'm just saying, I think the year in Apocalypse was, yeah, 2018. And therefore, yeah, they could be of age. I'd have to go back and actually look. But they certainly could be of age. Huh. Okay. Dang, you guys are fantastic with these theories. Heck yeah. Blaze, I 100% agree with you. Kim K is killing it this season. She's doing really fantastic. And actually, I have a video that I made about her. And I'm really excited to put that out. Because I'm going to put it out after the season finale of Delicate. But I absolutely agree with you. Um, 
Oh, okay. That's right. Okay. So you asked me about news at AHS being continued from season 13 and on. Couldn't find the information. That's my bad too. I've got to do that so I can bring you that news. Um, I apologize. Oh my gosh. I got so much to do. I literally like need a huge list right now in order to make sure I'm doing everything. Um, I know I'm not ready for it to go too, but I'm positive we are going past season 13. So I will find that confirmation for you. I'm emoting. <laughs> I promise. Don't give up on me. <laughs> Adam says, and that's how, if her dad had a baby, it would be her cousin. That's how, if her dad had a baby, it would be her cousin. I think I cracked my joke. Absolutely. Damn, Adam. That's awesome. Oh my God. That's even more grosser than what I thought. Okay. I'm so sorry. Wow. Yeah. So the dad is with Anna's twin sister. And so dad and husband are each with a twin. Oh my God. That's disgusting. I'm, I'm so sorry. If anybody's done that, no judgments. I, I, I'm not a judger, but in the show, that would be disgusting. Oh my God. <laughs> Ew, God, I hope they don't go that route. But that's probably something AHS would do. Dang, Adam, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> you need your own theory channel. You would totally kill it out of the park. DeVille says, hey, guys. Hey, DeVille. So great to have you here. Thank you for coming to the live stream. Scotty Lee says, yes. I bet you're talking yes about Adam. Debbie says, I was all alone last week in a literal cabin in the woods just had me and my chihuahuas. AHS was great in that setting. <clears throat> when AHS Hotel came out, my bestie was staying in the Menger Hotel in San Antonio. She had to for a week for work. Um, so the training was in the hotel. So she stayed in the hotel. So she was watching AHS Hotel in a hotel that is 100% haunted. If you guys have never been to the Menger Hotel in San Antonio on the Riverwalk, it's expensive to stay there, but it's worth it. You will more than likely have a ghost experience because that place 100% haunted. But she watched hotel in a haunted hotel. I, I mean, my bestie, Brittany, if you're watching this, baby, you are brave. I am so proud of you for doing that. But Debbie, you are brave, girl. If, oh, um, uh, did you watch Roanoke all out there by yourself? Was it just delicate? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. DeVille says witchcraft is involved for sure. Right. And I just, yeah, I just wonder because a lot of these women like Nurse Ivy <clears throat> and the Ashleys, they've all never aged. Dr. Hill, none of them have aged. So yes, it's, I mean, witchcraft. Yeah. <laughs> so how could she, how could Addie not recognize them? Absolutely. Thank you so much, DeVille. And Adam, oh my God, here we go again. Adam, you're going to take me down the theory rabbit hole. Okay, hang on. I'm taking a deep breath first. That explains why Dex's dad said the baby can be a cousin. Maybe she's been watching and waiting for the Antichrist. Shit, Adam, we got to collaborate. <laughs> Seriously, we have to collaborate. So that way, like, we can get this theory out there for you because that is so logical. I love that. I love that. I love that. Oh, and Debbie says that's exactly what I think, Adam. Okay, Scotty says, but if this is a twist and the baby that took over Anna's womb is an alien with powers even? Hmm. You know, I wondered because especially with that kiss that Sonia gave Anna in this last episode, what if it was like her, that kiss sent something into Anna and into the baby, like some kind of either like some kind of demon seed or something that messed with its DNA, maybe like some kind of form of the black pill. So absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would be fantastic if it was some kind of like human hybrid that had powers. Absolutely. 
Thank you so much, Deville. Yes, guys, please like the stream if you are enjoying it. I appreciate it. I'm Emoti. Everybody, yeah, we agree with you, Adam. You are a genius. Blaze says, I'm still wondering on how Stevie Nicks survived the apocalypse. Well, okay, so she's a white witch. And I... I have been looking on that, and I think they said in Apocalypse how Stevie survived. So I'm going to go back and watch it because I am, again, I'm ranking every episode from every season. And so I'll go back and watch that, and I'll tell you, Blaze, how that happened. But I believe, uh, yeah, that uh, she, um, Stevie Nicks survived the Apocalypse somehow because of her being a white witch, and she had that little cabin or something like that. I, I I'm not positive. I need to see it again, but I think it was answered in Apocalypse. Um, I'm Amadi says, I'm here since your Roanoke videos. Don't worry. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> thank you. Blaze says, AHS is weird and unpredictable at times. I know. And sometimes we think we got it all figured out and then we realize we don't have squat figured out. Adam says, honored to hear that from you. Well, Honey, you deserve this. I love your theory. So I got the one in the front at the beginning of this one, and then I have yours. So I think I'm going to work on those along with my reviews. Because for me, working on that is like my fun time, my happy time. So I would love to make those two theory videos if both of you wouldn't mind me making them. So, yeah. All right. Uh, next one says, Scotty Lee, nurses uh, always seem to find a way into these shows, right? From Murder House to Asylum to Coven. I mean, yeah, nurses are almost everywhere. Ryan has a thing about mothers and nurses. Like the mother-son dynamic. And then it's like he has a problem with nurses. <laughs> I agree. You are so sweet, Alicia. Alicia, telling everybody to like the stream. I know you guys don't recognize the name, and I'm not trying to out her. But this is one of my awesome moderators alicia you guys would know her obviously from freaks of ahs she's got awesome kids she is so sweet i love her so much so be nice to her or debbie ebby bobebby will literally come get you and i honestly think now that i should stop telling people to beware of sexy scathich because anytime i think of something that i should beware and that is debbie ebby bobebby you don't want to make her mad Nope. And she's a person that you want on your side, honey. Absolutely. Thank you so much again, Alicia. Adam says, of course, anytime you can use it or I'd love to collab. Absolutely. Yeah, that would be fantastic. If you, some people don't feel comfortable being on camera, but if you do and you would like to do a recording with me, that'd be fantastic. So we can absolutely work that out. Um, if you want to send me an email to me, it's all one word, lowercase, Mary Girl Moody at gmail.com. Very easy. The, the username, Mary Girl Moody at gmail.com. Let me know it's you, Adam, and we'll work it out. Poopsie, thank you so much for being here. Hi, Mary. Are you excited for the episode tonight? I am. Things have just been very down over here. And I, you know, it's kind of nice to have something to look forward to. I'm going to get up early uh, in the morning and watch it. And Beyond the Heart is tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. The link is already up. I should have put the link in this stream, and I apologize that I didn't. But the link is up. You can click the subscribe and notification bell to be notified when I go live with it. But I, it will be there tomorrow at 7 o'clock. We're going to talk about the episode. And yes, I'm excited. I think it's going to be mostly a flashback of Addie and the coven. And I'm really excited about it. I'm a Modi says, Mary girl, if you could choose one season AHS stories, uh, one uh, season of AHS stories to actually be a season, probably one show from all of these seasons, which one would you choose? So drive in. I would love drive in to absolutely turn into like a season show. That would be fantastic. Like the first episode or two could just be like built up of the lore. And then, you know, episode three is where shit goes down. Four, five, and six is where there's just nothing but violence and attacks. Seven, eight, and nine are maybe like the characters getting some backstory on it, trying to be safe. And then 10, 11, and 12 are confronting the maker, fighting all the rest of the undead and just like explosions everywhere. I would love Drive-In to be a full season. Another one, and I know you guys are going to agree with me, is the Dollhouse episode. I would love a full season of um, I'm so sorry, my mind. 
my mind has been going crazy. But yes, I would absolutely love a full season of the, um, <laughs> I know you guys are in the comments helping me out. So let me just go right down there to it. Um, yeah, driving was great. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, from Dollhouse, the backstory of uh, Spalding. Spalding, yes, thank you. Oh, Debbie, we did it at the same time. Doll yes, more Spalding. I would like to know more about Spalding's birth, his mom, his dad, after his dad was, you know, either captured or killed. I don't remember exactly how the episode ended. It's been quite some time, but. I would really love to know how Spalding ended up at the coven and then his time with the coven and Fiona and that younger generation of the coven that we never got to see, or excuse me, the earlier generation of the coven that we never got to see before. So I would love for them to do dollhouse. And then another one is ball. But I guess this season is kind of like an episode as like a whole season of ball, except it's different. It's like with covens. But yeah, so those three, what do you guys think about that as well? Let me know which ones you would like. All right. Let me get back to Blaze. Blaze says, I like... I liked Apocalypse, but I just hated how they ended it. I understand. I understand. But, you know, like I said, I really did go back, and the ending really wasn't so bad. Maybe you should take a look at it, too. And like I said, maybe the video will convince you or just make you hate it more. It's your opinion. You keep it, darling. Um, but it wasn't as bad when I went back and watched it. Debbie says, and Anna has a twin during this pregnancy, so we know twins run in her family. Another reason for Madison to be her twin. Damn, you guys, you guys are just taking me down the rabbit hole today, aren't you? Um, Poopsie says, Ball was so good. I want more of that story. Absolutely. Um, no problem. I'm a Modi. No problem. So uh, one episode. Is that what you were trying to say? Okay. Debbie says, Rar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Favorite AHS channel. Thank you so much, DeVille. You are so sweet. Beware of Debbie. And everybody's showing here that they love you, Debbie. Debbie says, or I will bop you with my wheelchair. Blaze says, oh, no, not the wheelchair. I know, right? I love our uh, I love our community. Scotty Lee has a thought. Scotty Lee says, Mallory can go back in time. Could Anna send up being Madison? Could, Madis could Anna send up being Addison? Madison's mother and Mallory could have taken back in time for the future. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's a thought. Mallory can go back in time. Right. Could Anna send up being Madison's mother? Hmm. And Mallory. Oh, could have taken back in time for the future. I don't know. I don't know if the timelines would actually end up with like, like that, Scotty. It's possible. But I love what you say about how Mallory can go back in time. That's something to definitely chew it on. See, you guys have so many good theories out there. We've got a collab. Okay, we've got a collab one day. And I, why didn't you guys tell me this stuff before when I was doing best fan theory videos? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wish I could do another one because I love this theory too. We're just like all piecing it together. You guys are awesome. Poopsie says, I'm curious what happened to Spalding's mom. Yes. I would absolutely love to see pepper again in a future season i want to know what happened to her i agree her her stuff was extremely sad and i want a good ending for her a happy ending for her scotty lee don't worry about typos darling you are fantastic okay guys i will have to go on ahead and start closing up the stream but don't forget, if you did enjoy it, please like it. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to and click the notification bell so that way you can be notified whenever I go live and post new videos. Beyond the Horror is tomorrow night. If you want to take things another step further and support, you can be a free Patreon, a paid Patreon, or a paid channel member. Um, you get a bunch of options for just a buck. And I'm just so happy that you guys are here supporting the channel just in any way you can. Um, and again, yeah. Beyond the Horror, tomorrow night, 7 p.m. The link is already up now. And I love you guys so much. I hope you all enjoyed the episode, and I can't wait to see it, too. And yes, uh, Blaze, what I'll do is I can screen record myself with, um, like, on YouTube and stuff like that. I don't get a copyright for that. But if it's on, like, Hulu 
or Netflix or something like that, I get a black screen whenever I'm trying to record or take a screenshot, which sucks. So I can absolutely do a live reaction to Maxine. Um, and I will make sure I abstain from watching it until I can get it all set up and ready to go. So, all right, guys. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you so much to uh, Debbie and Alicia, as usual, for moderating and for everybody for being here and just commenting and talking and just having a good time with us. Because I got to say, it's been kind of down lately here. We've been just needing a little oomph and I needed a little oomph and coming out here and talking with you guys gives me an oomph. So thank you again. Um, Adam, message me. I will go back and do the check the information for the live stream, put out these theories and let's like I said, let's talk about it. See you guys tomorrow night. Enjoy the episode. Thank you all for watching and beware of sexy Debbie, Abby, Bababy. Bye guys. Love you all.